want to go ahead and go over the blend tool real quick. I know that we had a little bit of a choppy glass last time. So we're going to take this organic shape right here. I have an eagle shape. I'm going to click on it, this right here. Now it currently has a black stroke with a white fill. I'm going to click this double headed arrow here, and change it to a black fill with a white stroke. Now, if I hold down Option and click and drag down, and as I'm dragging down, I'm going to hold down Shift. It's going to make a duplicate, but it's also going to make it at a certain angle. Okay, so I have I have all these two objects selected. In your case, we had an in low E, so and it was positioned at some point in the corner. I'm going to hold down Option this time, drag down, and can drag it completely off the page. I'm going to select it. By the way, if you have any tool selected and you hold down Command, it's going to default to the black arrow tool. But here I'm going to hold down Shift and select both the eagles. I'm going to go to Object, Blend, Blend Options. Specified steps is 100. Now we're going to lo have, we've loaded the blend. Now we're going to shoot the blend across the screen. We're going to go to Blend Make. Okay. As we can see, it worked perfectly. Now you got to remember that your fill's got to be a solid color and you've got to have the stroke off it to work. This is the blend. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go Object Expand, Fill and Stroke, say OK. I have a whole bunch of them going across the page. In my Pathfinder panel on the bottom left, I mean the top, top left, I'm going to click this button right here. That's going to merge all of them together. OK, I can now click my white arrow tool and select that. Now, I can go to my window click on my transparency panel, click on normal, Ch change this to difference. We can bump this all the way down, the opacity down. And therefore, if we have any object underneath it, say for instance, I send that to the back, object, arrange, send it back, and I change this to, I don't know, pink. Um, you can kind of see it over there. Let me, let me um, bump up the, the transparency panel here so you can see it a little bit better window, make sure my transparency panel is up, bump that up, you can see it actually goes on, It uh, you see the gray on top of it. So that's how you create a blend long shadow. Uh, review your steps and make sure you're in your competency notebooks you have your steps accurately listed so that you can use that to help yourself. Alright, signing off.